Hello everyone from Laura Hair. Today's video is for those of you who may be slightly confused about all the different names that exist for what we call hair systems. When you search online, you will come across several words that are seemingly talking about the same thing. So we would like to clarify how these words, if they do indeed differ. Let's start with hair system. When we talk about a hair system or a hair replacement system, this is what we are talking about. There are two parts to a hair system, the hair and the base. Hair is typically human hair, whilst the base is usually made of three materials, lace, polyurethane, or monofilament, or a combination of these materials. This particular base is made of lace. A hair system is a modern day wig or toupee. Hair systems don't just sit on your head or existing hair the way a wig you buy in a custom shop might. For us, this is a wig. It is cheap and has synthetic hair and is something people might just buy to complete a Halloween outfit. When it comes to a wig as a hair loss solution for men, then you will also hear wig, to pay and hair piece and they all use interchangeably. For us, what you see here is a type of wig, to pay or hair piece. It's something that might cost very little, but it's a poor imitation of hair system and not something we would recommend if you truly care about your appearance. You should be able to see the difference in quality when I hold the hair system and they wick up together. As for the hair, you will have to take a word for it, but when you touch the hair, it is clear which human hair and which is synthetic. For example, if you can see a hair system, the hair is definitely so soft and is handcrafted. On the other hand, if you see uh, this wig, the hair the hair quality is very different, it's tough, and also the hair is coming out. And also, the base is made up by a machine, so it's really different. Hair system companies are guilty of using all these different names too, and that includes us. Your average person will not know what a hair system is, but they will know what a wig or toupee is, hence why those words are used. Hair system is an industry created word and is not a word you will find in the dictionary, for example. So why do we call them hair systems? It's a way of differentiating them from wigs and tube heads like this. They are also made differently as we have this cost. Hair systems are also easier to market as there is less of a stigma surrounding them compared to wigs and tube heads. Wigs and toupees have negative connotations and are traditionally associated with looking fake. Many men will feel more comfortable buying a hair system rather than a wig. A wig is also the standard term for what women wear to cover their hair loss or to mix up their look. In short, hair systems are for men and wigs are for women. And generally speaking, that's how we differentiate the two on our website. Even though most women's wigs are made in exactly the same way as men's hair systems, we tend to use wigs when talking about women. To top it off, you will also hear the terms hair unit, hair patch, and even men weave, just to add to the confusion. These are all used to refer to hair systems, but from our experience, they are not so commonly used. For example, hair patch is heard more on the subcontinent and men weaves are often used to refer to Afro hair systems, which are just the same as a regular hair system apart from the fact they have Afro hair. So in conclusion, this is a hair system and these are all wigs. But a hair system can also be referred to as a wig, toupee, hair piece, hair patch, 
hair unit and man wig. We prefer to use the term hair system to differentiate our products from lower quality, cheaper imitations. The hair system we show you today is just one example of what we can do. We invite you to watch the other videos on our channel or to check out our website to see more examples of the types of hair systems we can make for you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.